How you doing folks? A couple days ago I made a video about how it's been ridiculously cold and I just want to come back today and let you know that the the cold spell is broken. We're up to a balmy 28 degrees and uh, now we're into uh, we're into snow. So I'm on the roof today and I'm shoveling off my roof just in case we get more snow than they anticipate and I just want to do a review for you guys of the uh, the True Temper Poly Scoop, uh, basically a poly snow shovel. It doesn't have to be by True Temper, but uh, this guy to me is the best snow shovel out there for deep, heavy snow. And I want to say that, you know, it's not the only snow shovel you should have, but if you're going to be shoveling a roof off, uh, I would say if you live in an urban environment where you have to shovel, like, you know, the space for your car, uh, I really enjoy this shovel because it's so short and uh, lightweight, it's plastic, that you can get a good purchase on what you're picking up and it won't take too big a scoop. So what we're gonna do today is, uh, you know, I just wanna show you how this thing works and, and how awesome it is. And, you know, hopefully when you're getting your uh, repertoire of shovels, maybe you'll add this one to your collection. In a perfect world, I would say I would have, you know, uh, an Ames Pop shovel. I would have like an aluminum shovel of some sort with a curve to it to push the lighter snows and then I would have like a big square heavy shovel for light fluffy snows if you're a die hard shoveler and those are just good shovels to have anyways uh, to clean up around and then another tool I would probably have in my you know, snow cleaning repertoire would be a nice wide stiff bristled um, push broom like a 24 inch maybe even a 30 inch those are really handy if you have just a light dusting of snow you can just sweep that right out of the way off the driveway so, uh, and also behind me, I mean, check out these cool icicles, right? Uh, this is the beauty of living in an older, poorly insulated home is, uh, well, I don't know, beauty, but you get these really cool ice formations. So let me move the camera and we'll just, uh, we'll shovel some snow, all right? So out here, I, I do have some skylights and this is a fairly flat roof. Trust me, I wouldn't be, you know, walking around on a really steep roof. But the nice thing with this shovel is it really scoops that shovel nicely and you can just give it a toss and it's not going to scoop up too much and because it doesn't have that blade you're not going to have to worry about digging your roof i mean you want to be careful but this is just a really nice nice shovel for cleaning off the roof and look at this we've already gotten there's some ice underneath there We've probably got about six inches of uh, fluffy powder so far. So we're just gonna get this off before things get too out of hand. But you see when I hold it, I can grab it right near the end. With the, the longer handled shovels, it's very hard to get it down near the end there and it, it makes it heavier. But this one, you can get right down close and you can really throw that snow. So if you have, you know, heavy snows, uh, you know, take a look at one of these poly shovels. Again, it doesn't have to be the True Temper one. If you go to your big box stores, they usually have one on the shelves. They do make one in aluminum as well. And the only other thing I'm going to say is you just want to be careful. Uh, if you have a lot of ice that you have to cut through, I did have one last year that I actually ended up chipping the ice on. So uh, if you've got ice, you might want to bring something else up to cut the ice without cutting the roof. And, uh, and clean that up too. And let me just show you a couple things while we're out here. It's kind of, uh, to me, this is enjoyable. As long as I'm warm, I've got my thermals on and all. But uh, if you take a look at my chimney over here, my wood stove isn't one of the modern, super efficient ones. But if you're burning your stove efficiently and the stove is going, it's heating the entire house right now. If the stove is going, you're not going to see any smoke if it's burning efficiently. You're not going to see any smoke coming out of the chimney. And what a lot of people do, not a lot of people, what some people do, is they end up damping their stoves down so much, slowing the amount of air that comes in, that it ends up smoking, especially when you're, you first put wood on. So if you ever, you know, you see a, a, a stove that's smoking, usually I assume one of two things. They just put some wood on and it's burning off all that moisture. Uh, but the other thing is perhaps they damped it down too much, you know, and, and yeah, I have a thermometer on my wood stove and basically as long as that thermometer it's on the stack it's about 18 inches above the stove as long as that thermometer 
reads above 350, I know I'm going to be burning clean. If it goes below 350, I'll start to see some smoke coming out there. Uh, and I just think that's something that, you know, sometimes I'll be driving around the neighborhood and somebody else with a stove, he, there's this like nasty smell. If it's damped down too much, this really smoky smell. And that usually tells me that uh, they've got it damped down too much. Quite often it's at night because people want that long burn. Snowplow just went by. So uh, anyways, this is just pretty cool to me. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying, you know, getting hit in the face with these snowflakes. And um, let me just, let me, let me take you off the tripod and I'll just see if I can show you the yard a little bit in the snow. Looks like the lens got dirty, huh? So there's my yard from up above. Okay. And what I need to do is I need to make sure I get out and shovel off this roof. This is a fairly poorly built addition on the house. I need to make sure to get all the weight off of that because that, that's a pretty weak roof. And then over there, there's my shed, the playset. And I don't know if you can see it, but the video I made last week with that nice uh, pile of wood, the pile of wood is right above my finger there. But I think this is really, this is just really beautiful. As long as you're dressed for it, that's the key. Once you get cold, it is certainly no fun. Alright folks, well I think we made it. Thanks for watching today. The snow has, uh, we've changed from snow to sleet. So it's going to start getting nasty out here. But uh, thanks for watching. Ames, True Temper, just look for a plastic grain scoop. Trust me, you're not going to regret having one, alright? Have a great day folks.